Empower me. Wow. Wisdom over wounds. February 18th. Taking the initiative against despair. Rise. Let us be going. Matthew 26, chapter 46. In the Garden of Gethsemane, the disciples went to sleep when they should have stayed awake. And once they realized what they had done, it produced despair. The sense of having done something irreversible tends to make us despair. We say, well, it's all over and ruined now. What's the point in trying anymore? If we think this kind of despair is an exception, we are mistaken. It is a very ordinary human experience. Whenever we realize we have not taken advantage of a magnificent opportunity, we are apt to sink into despair. But Jesus comes and lovingly says to us in essence, sleep on now. That opportunity is lost forever and you can't change that. But get up and let's go on to the next thing. In other words, let the past sleep. But let it sleep in the sweet embrace of Christ. And let us go on into the invincible future with Him. There will be experiences like this in each of our lives. We will have times of despair caused by real events in our lives. And we will be unable to lift ourselves out of them. The disciples in this instance had done a downright unthinkable thing. They had gone to sleep instead of watching with Jesus. But our Lord came to them taking the spiritual initiative against their despair and said in effect, get up and do the next thing. If we are inspired by God, what is the next thing? It is to trust him absolutely and to pray on the basis of his redemption. Never let the sense of past failure defeat your next step. Wow, what a simple word. Never let the sense of past failure defeat your next step. Father, give me wisdom over wounds today. Father, empower me with the knowledge to be able to take the next step. As your example shows in Matthew chapter 26 and 46, the disciples had arrived into the Garden of Gethsemane and Jesus knew and was already in despair because his friend Judas is what he called him. He knew he was betraying him. He said, do what you're going to do and do it quickly. He told Peter, he said, before the rooster can crow two times, you're going to deny me three times. Father, I thank you today that we are no longer walking in despair. So many are in despair today and burdened with things that have happened and they have no idea what their next step is going to be. We ask you, Father, right now for my friends, my family, my loved ones, my co-workers, and my acquaintances. Lord, give them your divine light. Give them direction as you say in your words. There's no need any longer to sleep in sorrow. The disciples were sleeping in sorrow and in despair because they knew Jesus had told them that he was leaving them soon, but they did not understand. And Jesus, as he began to travail in the garden, 
weeping and crying to his father to allow this cup to pass, they fell asleep. Every time he came back, they had fallen asleep. Finally, he said, let's get up and go. He said, rise now and let us be going. Because sleeping in despair was not going to get them anywhere. Behold, Judas had arrived and was to betray him with a kiss. So many times you know those people that are going to betray you like Jesus did with a kiss. But even though Jesus knew it, he still referred to Judas as his friend. Judas immediately tried to give that money back, but it was too late. Sometimes things in our lives are too late for us to change. So Father, today you place this in my spirit about despair. For them who are on this line that are in despair, Father, give them peace today. Let them know how to rise up and be going, how to get to the next thing that you have inspired them to do. So, Father, I thank you that your people today are understanding these words. Father, give them grace today. Father, remove the despair and the depression and the sadness out of their hearts. I thank you today, Father, for empower me while wisdom over wounds. So many of us are wounded today, and Lord, you are our divine healer. So I thank you today for these quick words. I didn't come on here to make anybody happy, shout, holler, or dance, but to give you what God gave me in my spirit. Don't be sad. Don't be discouraged. Get up out of despair, and let's be going on to the next thing. These podcasts are found on most podcast channels under Empower Me Wow, Wisdom Over Wounds. Playing simultaneously is another podcast called The Drill Sergeant Series. That series will truly bless you. It can also be found simultaneously on most podcast channels. So if you like, send me a word of encouragement, an emoji, high five, happy face. I'd be happy to hear from you, a testimony. But if you decide to send me something, please do not send me anything disrespectful. I am a married woman. And if you send me something that will disrespect my husband, Reginald, I will not, I promise you, I will not respond to you. So, Father, today again, I thank you that we are rising up and we are going on to the next thing. And we come against everything that the enemy has tried to kill, steal, and destroy. Everything that he's tried to disappoint us in. We break the power of the enemy right now in Jesus' name. No weapon formed against you today shall prosper. Go with God today. Rise up from your sleeping in sorrow. Matthew 26, 46 again today. Taking the initiative against despair. We love you. God bless you today. Remember me in your prayers as I remember you. This is Sister Barbara. Love you. Bye-bye.